Hey Horns, it's me. I am just filming the intro for the 2019-2020 Horn Awards. I hope you guys enjoy it. Most of these are the ones that you voted for. I did add a few few other extra ones. True. Just to yeah. like, I don't know, give more honor to everyone. Cause I think everyone deserves a little more than uh, what the results were. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna- She skewed off. the results. It's rigged. <laughs> <laughs> the first one is um are the ones for best dressed and worst dressed. Oh dear. Yes, Ooh, starting off there. I was very surprised with these ones because at least for worst dressed, uh, there was like five people that were voted for it. Oh jeez. <laughs> and the, a lot of people were voted for it. And the person that won worst dress only won by one vote, mind you. Jeez. <laughs> But it was a very like spread out. I was say there's only like six people voting, so right, yeah. So there wasn't a there wasn't like a lot to go off of, um. But we did have a winner for that one, oh, and that's one was for best dress. Is that there was like a there was like four people that were voted for it, um. So it was a very like spread out kind of thing. Mm -hmm. so at least for let's start off with the worst dress. Oh, um. I think I think we should take this as a compliment that if we all voted for each other for worst dress, it means that we all are pretty good at dressing each ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so the person that was voted worst dressed, no surprise, it's Mr. Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Yeah. And I think this is very surprising. Uh, the person that was voted best dressed was Mr. Trevor. The next one, which I think everyone already knows who's going to get it by me reading off the name, is the most likely to become a meme. We did this oh. one last year, and I thought yeah. it was a funny one because, I mean, memes culturally relevant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they probably always will be. Yeah. From now on. And so I wanted to throw it in again just as a little homage. And to no surprise, the person who got it was Mr. A. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised. Two people did vote for Trevor. Yeah. Oh. Ah. There was, it was not 100% Aiden this year. <laughs> um, these ones are, are the more like extroverted personality ones. So the first one is Life of the Party. Um, we all know the most extroverted person in the horn section. Very loud and somehow amazing at communicating with people. No idea how he does it. But Mr. Trevor, yeah, yeah, one. I was very excited when I came up with this one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, I wanted to do something a little like a little fun. So this is the most likely to gain a coffee addiction. Mm. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to just see like what people thought because um, we have me who is an addict drink tea drinker, and mm -hmm. we have a Dutch Bros person. So I wanted to see who would end up winning. And the person that ended up winning, which I don't think any of us were surprised, are Miss Alyssa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there <laughs> it is. Like you're most likely to gain a coffee addiction. <laughs> I already have one. <laughs> Perfect. Exactly. Okay. Um, these ones, honestly, no surprise. I'm just gonna like go through these um, because these are all kind of the same exact thing. Uh, so we have the most likely to become a YouTuber, most likely to become a star on TV, and then most likely to become famous. Um, and you all voted Mr. Trevor on all of them. Um, wow. I, I have a YouTube channel. What do you mean? <laughs> I was kind of expecting people to be a little more creative with it. No shade. Um, <laughs> I was, no one knows about it. It's fine. I was, but I, it's okay. No judgment. No judgment. Um, but... I totally see it too. Um, this is one I was very proud of when I came up with this one. Is the most likely to mysteriously vanish. Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> um, I wanted to just see like what people like thought of, and this one was also pretty spread out. Like I think there was like four people that were uh, voted for, which is honestly kind of surprising. I know mm -hmm. the people that got voted for it were Aiden was was voted. Uh, Alyssa, you were voted. Yeah. <laughs> um, Emily was voted, and Anthony was voted for. Uh, and I think that the person that won won by just a, 
very slow for a mount, but uh, it was Anthony. <laughs> oh. He uh, did leave the section. Yeah. So, I mean, I think they'll find him, like, his, his wife band is sitting, like, sitting in a random street someday. And it's like, oh, <laughs> well, we were right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So those are all of, like, the really, like, joking, like, jocular ones. So now jocular. I have a huge... So now, jocular. Joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I have um, all of the more serious awards for, like, music-related stuff. Um, which I think, honestly, these ones are the ones that you should be a little bit more proud of <laughs> than, like, <laughs> Mysteriously Fish. <laughs> but what about Coffee Addiction? That's a good one. That's a very <laughs> good one. <laughs> um, but I threw in some more, I, I took your voting ones into consideration. Hi, Aiden. Hi. Hi, Aiden. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Um, but, so I threw in the ones that you guys voted for, and then I threw in some extra ones that I thought were noteworthy. So this one was one of the tiebreakers that we had to do, which was most, li was most likely to be loud at pep games. Ah, yes. Um, I was very surprised with how it was split. Um, and so it was really interesting to see the tie tiebreaker. And the tiebreaker was also really close in votes. Like the person that won this one won by one point, one person. Jeez. On the time as a tiebreaker. That's so crazy. it was a very competitive one. Honestly, I think this was the most competitive one. Um, so the person that is loudest at pep games doesn't have to be the loudest vocally, but can be the loudest school spiritly. So this person for the unicorn hat. Unicorn yes. Hat, Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was Lotus at Pep Games voted with. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this one was just too boring. Yeah. So, Lotus at Pep Game does not mean that you have to be the loudest vocally. Congrats, Siler. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is one that I threw in because I think this was duly noteworthy, was um, I threw in the best Mountain View instrumental art that was made for this section. Ooh. This person, my goodness, when they drew it, I was mind blown, my mind was blown, and I was like, holy crap, I didn't know someone could do that. And it was a digital drawing, and I was like, oh my gosh, and it was a new recreation of the French Warnercorn. And I was like, wow, uh, this fun. needs to be like celebrated mm -hmm. and more than just me sharing it on the remind. So um, Miss Emily got this award. Heck yeah. The Hornicorn was pretty was, darn yeah. awesome. Um, I hope that that drawing continues on because I think that was amazing. Um, I wanted to do something that I think is something that the person should be proud of. Um, it's the most involved in the band program. So the so whoever like attended more concerts, did more stuff outside of school for the band program, or spent more time in class in the band program. Um, this person uh, did a solo this year and did very well at it. This person spent a lot of time outside of band, first time in the leadership team, and um, was very good at contributing to the section, and also decided to take an extra class for band just to help a little more with the band program. So the person that I decided was most involved in the band program is Miss Alyssa. Yep. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. You spent a lot of time in band this year. <laughs> okay. This is another like, okay, I'm gonna put that one for later. Um, we're gonna stick along the ones that uh, we're gonna go with something similar to that. So this is the most passionate about BAM. This was another one that was a tiebreaker. Um, this person has a very strong connection to the horn section and always loved to show off their pride, wore the horn shirt almost every Thursday, which amazed me. And again, loved wearing the unicorn mask. <laughs> the person most passionate about BAM is Tyler. Perfect. Ready to go, Tyler. <laughs> yeah. Um, we don't we don't talk about that. 
Um, so I wanted to uh, commemorate for the most improved players. So I have three. I, so the, we did the overall most improved, and then I did two from the other bands that were not a part of it. Um, so for concert bands, I think that the most improved player is Lucy. Yeah. She did honor band as a, as a freshman, which is very honorable. And she also did a solo her freshman year, which I was very impressed by. I didn't have the, 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 the chance to hear it, but she said that she did really good, and I was very happy for her. So I think she deserved that award. So um, now, um, as you will learn, the person that got most voted most improved was from Symphonic Band. Oh. Yeah. Um, and so this is going to be from Wind Ensemble. This person I was amazed by because they decided to take the horn a little bit more seriously than in previous years. And I, I mean, sitting in band, um, I was very wowed by how seriously they took it, took the music and asked a lot of questions and asked a lot of help from me and other people in the section to make sure that they were playing it right. And I really appreciated that. Um, their solo this year was very good and I'm very proud. Um, I chose Alyssa to be the most improved. <laughs> uh, you definitely impressed me this year and keep sticking with it. Thank you. Um, so the person that was voted most improved is from Symphonic Band. Um, I agree that I think this person was the most improved in the horn section. I think that the opportunities that they took really made their made, really made them a more serious musician, and uh, they started taking lessons this year and um, made it into an ensemble this year, which I am very very proud of. Um, so the person that was voted most improved is Mr. Yep. Amen. There it is. No way. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Congrats. You did. You definitely deserve it. Thank you. I'm gonna do sex, like sectional attendance kind of stuff. Oh dear. Um. <laughs> so I have. Uh, first of all, most likely and least likely to attend a sectional. <laughs> I thought that someone was very clever and put me down for most likely to attend a sectional. Whoever did that, very clever because. You are right. I do run the sectionals. <laughs> um, but I was sadly not chosen. Um, it's okay, because I think that the person that got the award is mo more deserving. Um, because, I mean, I obviously have to be their common sense to, like, run it. But besides me, the person that I definitely deserve this award for most likely to attend a sectional is Mr. Tyler. Oh, baby. Yeah. Way to go, Tyler. Yeah. And now we have least likely to attend a sectional. <laughs> are, we surprised? Are, we, are we surprised? Can I make a prediction? Yes. Anthony? <laughs> Mr. Anthony. Yep. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Aiden just got a text from Clausen. <laughs> what? Hello, agents. You currently have a mellow at home. Fantastic. Okay. Um, now we have the um, really fun one, which is most likely to be off task at a sectional. So <laughs> one of the recurring jokes throughout the entire year, or like throughout the past two years, is that we were really off task at sectionals. Yeah. Like, we did really bad at staying on task. And <laughs> we recorded a video of one. Yeah. And I think we played like 15 minutes throughout the entire hour. Like, it, like we don't do very well at, at sectionals. But I think, I think it just made our sectionals more enjoyable to come to that we didn't get anything done. <laughs> um, so I think this award, whoever was going to win this, is truly. Like, you know, the person that, man, he is really off task at sectionals, or, man, she's really off task at sectionals. Um, 
And I was kind of surprised by the votes and by the majority that this person won by. <laughs> um, uh, the person that was voted most likely to be off task at a sectional is none other than Mr. Trevor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah. mean, we know that. We know that. And I had a, a binder of section leader duties. And one of them was I had a chart of everyone's name and I had a date that I marked down for every sectional we had. And I actually recorded the attendance right, for quick. every sectional. Klaus just asked, does anyone have a mellow at home? Nope. No. No. Nah. I have a trumpet. Does that count? No. <laughs> they sound the same. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Back if everyone had the Wow. Um, and so I do have the numbers. I don't. Rem I don't know how many sectionals this person attended, but definitely attended the most. I think only missed one sectional out of the entire year, which we had one almost once every every. We had one almost every week. So just missing one is. Kudos to you, my goodness. Um, so I would like to commemorate Tyler for having e. the best sectional attendance. E. Way to go, Tyler. You need the French horn or corn. Wait. <laughs> e. And um, I remember last uh, remember last year I didn't put myself on the actual Oh, that's great, Tyler. I think you should keep that look up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every day like that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, like that. Um I remember you guys got so angry that I didn't include myself in it. <laughs> You're like, why did you include yourself in the vote? And so I heeded your advice, and I did put myself in. Yes. <laughs> and I did vote also um, because I was in, so I could participate, um, which I didn't vote last year. Mm -hmm. um, and so these last two words um, are for me, just for the record. So I didn't feel like I needed a big announcement. Um, I do have to be, I do have to say thank you very much for those awards. Um, for Best Horn, this one, thank you. That was obvious. <laughs> yeah, it was. That's why this, I felt bad including myself. Like, in PYP, I'm not the best horn. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to say thank you because that actually mean, meant a lot to me, seeing the results. And then this one, Tyler, you and me had type for most likely to become a professional musician. Wow. Like, you were tied. And hey. the tiebreaker. Um, yeah. I did I did end up getting it yeah. at the end. Um, but uh, thank you guys for those votes. I yeah. am very happy that I was voted for something. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think that everyone got an award this year, which is awesome. Um, get my shoulder up that way. <laughs> I mean, Tyler and Trevor dominated most awards. <laughs> um, but I did want to um, thank you all for your participation in this. I, oh my god. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> um, you can't see me, but my face just. Yeah. Thank you for, just for participating in this. I, have, mm. I had a lot of fun doing this last year, and I also had a lot of fun doing it this year. <laughs> Um, and I hope that you all continue to do this next yeah. year. Uh, this is going to be the last Zoom meeting with the seniors this year. Oof. Because we are graduating today, later today. Yeah. Um, so I think after we're done with this, I think I'm going to kick us off of the Remind. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> I'll be official that yeah. I'm no longer your section leader. Ah, that's um, enough. <laughs> um so with that being said i did want to thank you guys um y'all are a great section and um i think as much as i may have helped some of you guys i don't know how i was for you all as section leader um you have helped me a lot and you've helped me grow into the person i am today into the leader i am today so it was like a symbiotic relationship <laughs> Um, so I did want to thank you very much for everything you've done for me and for making my high school band experience truly memorable. That's not good. I did. <laughs> before you all came, Sorry. before you, uh, all the sophomores came, I, as my sophomore year, so your age, 
um, at our last leadership meeting, we write down a little note that says, uh, for a future note for us next year. And I remember I got it last year and I remember writing, I want the French horn to be the best section ever. And that was before you all came. And I can honestly say that I think that happens. Of course it is. We're, we're just the best. <laughs> we're like, that was obvious. We're like literally the best section. We're just, and, we're just the best. Yeah, we, we're yeah. the best. Because I think a lot of it couldn't have been done without you guys being so cooperative with all of the changes I wanted to do and all of the really weird stuff I implemented into the section. Um, I, uh, Case in point. Yeah. Um, Big squats and little squats. Yeah, yeah. Little, little squats. You got to continue the squats. And you better continue those things. Please do. Will. Please do. Okay. I think I'm going to end it now. And right. it will be posted shortly. But thank you all for a great two years in band. Four years with Alyssa. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but... Y'all are the best. Know you. We love you guys. Love you too. I love you too. See y'all next year. <laughs> Hasta la pasta. Don't get it on. Bye. 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 Hello, horns. It's me. It is the day after the Horn Awards, and I just wanted to start an. <laughs>